Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome to Organic Attitude. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing an awesome book called Breed Your Own Vegetable Varieties, The Gardener's and Farmer's Guide to Plant Breeding and Seed Saving by Carol Depp. This is an amazing book for anyone who wants to breed their own vegetables or save their seeds. I mean, uh, seed saving and vegetable breeding has never been more important than it is today. You've got the multinational corporations controlling most of the world's seeds, uh, patenting seeds, patenting life itself, and the, really the, one of the only ways to fight back is to save your own seed and become independent uh, and not have to buy, you know, uh, you know, like Monsanto corn or, you know, genetically modified, uh, different genetically modified uh, products. And saving your, saving your seed is the way to do it. I mean, people have been doing this for thousands of years, since the history of agriculture, and it's, it's relatively unchanged. Uh, it, it can be as simple as taking your own seed and just saving it and then replanting it again next year and you know keeping the best seed, the, you know, the, the best producers for your climate or it can become really complicated and I always thought it was more, a little bit more simple, I thought you know you just save your seed you put it in the ground, it grows, you say okay that's the best one, I'll save that seed for next year and it can be that for certain varieties but other varieties it can get uh, way more complicated and you can do a lot more than I ever thought was possible. Uh, I mean, for example, there's this book talks about uh, things like inbreeders and outbreeders where some, some plants actually self-pollinate most of the time. They tend towards that and other plants won't self-pollinate. They need other varieties of themselves, you know, of their kind to pollinate. And other plants still they don't even like to pollinate with uh, you know their own variety. They need uh, diverse genetic material to come in, otherwise uh, they start to go into decline. So it, it's an amazing and fascinating subject, and this book is very in depth and very interesting and entertaining as well uh, along the way. I mean, it talks about it goes into depth with uh, Gregor Mendel, you know, the father of genetics. Uh, definitely, t it talks about him a lot. Um, you know, he was essentially one of the first uh, plant breeders and it goes into even more into the more uh, history regarding that whole situation but uh, you know as far as as far as he's concerned you know I learned about him in high school biology and it was kind of you know you got you got the little square we got the capital letters and the lowercase letters and that was about all that I ever learned about it but this book takes it uh, several steps further into you know you've got your you get your squares, but that's just for one genetic variable. You could have dozens of genetic variables that you want to try to uh, affect. And then you've got multiple generations, and you've got, you know, it's not just the, the parent to child generation. You've got, you have, to, you have to go down several generations in order to get a, a good match. And I, I won't go into it now, but it's definitely quite the education if you're, if you're going to be doing this. And it, it doesn't have to be that difficult either. You can choose plant varieties. Uh, where you do simply just um, save the best seed, but even within those varieties, you can still uh, go in as deep as you want. And you know that's one of the great things. This book basically talks about all the uh, all the different varieties you can do, and and what you can do with it. Uh, she has a, an example where she wanted uh, peas, and she wanted purple peas, and the only kind of purple peas that they had. Uh, they weren't sweet peas, they were just uh, regular peas where you have to shell them and you can't eat the pod. And she wanted purple peas where you can eat the pod too. So she couldn't find it anywhere. So she had to actually take a variety of purple pea and a variety of sweet pea and mix them together. And it took, it took a little bit of doing. It's not just as simple as saying, okay, let's cross them together and get one. It takes, uh, I mean, you can do it that way, of course, but this, this shows you how you can, you can get, uh, you know, really basically the vegetables you want. You can breed a new variety of vegetables in sometimes as little as one generation if you use the right techniques. I mean there's there's lots of techniques. I think there's a couple dozen techniques you can use uh, to get that genetic vari variability that you want. You know sometimes it's uh, just as you know it's, sometimes it's just uh, mixing in new varieties. Sometimes you have to keep very careful uh, charts on what you planted where and look at the percentages of different traits you see and then you'll know what happened. It's kind of like detective work because you, you can't tell just from the seed what the genetic material is. You need to really you know, let it grow up and look for the traits that you want and say, okay, well, if 25% of them 
did this, then now I can conclude that you know, that, that purple gene is maybe a recessive gene. So, uh, again, very fascinating, and there's never been a better time to do it. I mean, we have, uh, you know, like, uh, seed saver organizations that you can get uh, heirloom seeds from. Uh, really, the genetic, genetic diversity has c come back to the backyard gardener. Uh, it's, it's really no longer in the hands of the government like it used to be back, you know, in the 30s and 40s. Uh, it's... There's so much genetic material that they just can't keep track of it all, and you know, with with most of vegetable varieties uh, becoming extinct over the last hundred years, it's more important than ever to save your own seeds. It's really easy to get involved. It's really easy to do. Great for kids' projects, especially if you're learning about genetics, and it's just a, a fun hobby that I will definitely, uh, you know, be enjoying over the next several years as we garden. So. Again, the book is Breed Your Own Vegetable Varieties, The Gardener's and Farmer's Guide to Plant Breeding and Seed Saving by Carol Depp. Uh, definitely a, a must read if you're starting or even if you know how to breed vegetables and have been doing it for years, you'll glean a lot of good information from here. So uh, that's all for the book review. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other book reviews on organicattitude.org. Thanks.